today I have just kind of a collective haul. There's some makeup, stuff for the home, some jewelry, some other stuff. There's not a ton of makeup because I did do a makeup haul a while back and I don't know if I'm going to post it because it's getting later and later and I bought stuff on like Black Friday and Cyber Monday and I still haven't posted this. It's getting ridiculous. And there's no clothes because I did just do a collective kind of try on clothing haul. If that's up, I will link it below and if not, then it'll be up soon. So keep your eyes peeled. So I'm just gonna kind of dive in and show you all what I got. First thing is pretty cool. This is the Starbucks You Are Here collection. And I got the Portland mug because I live in Portland now. Because that's who I am. So it's really cute. Um, and it says Portland right here. And it has some things that are kind of cool to Portland. There's a rose because Portland is a rose, the rose city. There's also bikes because lots of people ride bikes in Portland. Mountain. There's a bridge because there's tons of bridges in Portland. It's called like the bridge city unofficially because oh my gosh there's so many bridges but I just think it's really cute and I also want to get the Seattle one because that's kind of where I'm from so I want to collect those wherever I go I think that'd be a really fun thing to do you know some people should collect shot glasses some people collect postcards I want to collect the Starbucks you are here mugs I also picked up the Batiste dry shampoo and this is the blush like flirty scented one Batiste is my favorite dry shampoo of course if you haven't tried it you need to try it. It's amazing. I got this at uh, Urban Outfitters because there's one by my house and they have like every single scent and flavor and color of dry shampoo. Also yesterday I picked up a couple makeup things from Fred Meyer. This is the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid in the color... What color are you? 25 Fuchsia Ecstasy. So I just picked that up yesterday and I had a $2 off coupon because Fred Meyer had $2 off coupons in store. So thanks Fred Meyer. They also had a sample in store just like hanging out in the CoverGirl section, like on one of the shelves randomly. And this is just the CoverGirl True Blend Family Foundation Sample. And they have like six different colors. So I'm gonna try one out and see if this, uh, only the light one would work for me. So I'm gonna see if it does work for me. So my lipstick felt really weird, but I went and checked it in the mirror and it looked fine. It just feels really crumbly. That's ColourPop Liquid Lipstick for ya. This is more better, by the way. I love the color, but the formula is a little bit iffy sometimes. I also got this from Fred Meyer. This is the Essence brand, which I didn't know was in the United States. I kind of thought it was a UK thing, because I'd never seen it before, but anyways, I got it to try. And this is the color 16 I Am Yours. I believe it was only like three bucks. They're kind of like wet and wild prices. But it has a little E embossed right there. Can you see it? Can you see it? Okay, I'll swatch it just for you guys, so very creamy and it's um definitely a not sheer but it's not even like a cream formula it's like kind of in the middle between cream and sheer but it's really pretty and i think it's gonna be moisturizing just kind of a rose color oh my gosh uh oh my From Target, I got this cute little thing. It's a wine bottle stopper or for a cider. Um, it was on clearance for $2.50. <laughs> Weird story. I was in the checkout line and I saw something that wasn't gum in the gum area. And so I picked them up and there was like three wine bottle stoppers. And one of them was H, which is my last name. And it was um, on clearance for $2.50. And so I'm like, you know what? Thanks whoever left this there because I'm taking it now. And then I went to <laughs> Bath and Body Works during the semi-annual sale and I made out like a bandit. I had a coupon for like $10 off, $40 or something like that. Plus I bought things that were on sale, so I got a lot of good deals. So I'm just gonna show you what I got. So this is the Maple Sugar Kiss Gentle Foaming Hand Soap and it smells amazing. I like the foaming ones better than the liquid ones. I don't know why, but they're just, they're more fun maybe. Maybe that's why, because they're fun. Mm, it smells good, I wanna eat this one. It smells like brown sugar and goodness. Then I got the Savannah Mint Julep one. And this one's kind of more of a summery one. I don't know why it was in the semi-annual sale. I kind of thought it was only like the fall and winter stuff that were a part of it. This one smells really good. This one smells like a mint julep. And then I got a white peach Chardonnay one, which was also kind of a summery one. And this one smells really good too. They all smell so good. Mmm, -hmm, smells like peaches. There were so many different ones that I wanted to buy, but I only limited myself to three hand soaps because there's only two of us here, we don't need a billion of them. I was also like $1.50 away from hitting that limit of what I needed to um, use the coupon, so 
I picked up a hand sanitizer in strawberry and lemon, which is right by the checkout stand. And then I believe the rest of the things that I got in here are candles because that's my favorite thing from Bath & Body Works. So I'm just going to tell you which ones I got. So I got one of the Tis the Season candles. This is, you know, the medium sized one. They have the minis and then this, and then they have three wicks. I couldn't find any three wicks of the Tis the Season and they only have candles. I want everything into the season. It's my favorite Christmas scent by far. It just smells amazing. It's like cinnamon, apple, and everything good that you can think of in this world. And pine. I also got apple picking candle. This one smells really good too. This one smells like apples and I don't know why, but this reminds me of my childhood. Okay, I did get another Tizzy Season one. And then I got one three wick candle. And this is, which one did I get? Sweater weather. Oh, I didn't remember getting that. It smells good. I like it. I still like it. Um, it has eucalyptus, juniper berry, and sage. That does not sound like a scent that I would like. Normally I really like sweet scents. I bought these kind of a while ago, so I don't remember what I got, but no, this is nice. Good job, myself. I also got a couple things from Hot Topic. I had um, hot cash, and I had accidentally bought a present then had to return it because it didn't come in time for Christmas, so I exchanged it. I'm gonna show you what I got. So I collect Supernatural pop figures, and I will insert a picture of all of the ones that I have thus far. There's too many of them, but I got two more. So I got my third Castiel because they keep coming out with different Castiels. Like, stop it, you guys. This one is Castiel Steve, and this is a Hot Topic exclusive. So it's basically when he was cashier at a gas station or something like that, convenience store. And then I also got Bobby because they finally released a Bobby. Like, about darn time they have, like, Crowley and Charlie. Oh, I love both of them. But they have like all of these other characters. Why do they not have Bobby? He's the best. Final store that I went to was Charming Charlie's. Uh, I wear a lot of basics clothing wise, a lot of solid colors, a lot of stripes. So I tend to wear a statement necklace with my clothing a lot to kind of jazz them up. I have a lot of statement necklaces and almost all of them are from Charming Charlie's. I have just like two that aren't. But all of the other ones are from Charming Charlie. So if you want to know where my necklace is from, you can almost guarantee that it's from there. So this one is one of the ones that I got. Cool story, they were having a sale, which I didn't realize. They were getting rid of their, you know, like winter jewelry. And then I had also gotten a $20 gift card for Christmas from my in-laws. Thank you guys, love you. As well as a $10 off $30 or $20 off $50 coupon. So I figured if I picked out $50 worth of stuff, then it would only equal $30. Plus I had a $20 coupon, so I don't have to pay $10 out of pocket. So I got $50 worth of stuff, plus more, because they were on sale. So I think the total value before sale and everything would have been, I think it was like $113, something like that. And I got everything, I paid $12 out of pocket. I should be on extreme couponing. So I got this one, and I believe it was $10 on sale. I got... These pair of earrings that came with a necklace, this one right here. So I've been looking for a plain gold necklace, or a plain black necklace um, for a long time because I really needed something that wasn't too outfit specific. And these ones I can wear with like any color. So I got this one and this one was only $5. And I got this one. This one's definitely kind of crazy. Can you hear how loud it is? Sorry. So let's see, there we go. Look how pretty it is though. It's like pink and light blue and this one was $8.99 and it also came with um, a pair of earrings here. This one is definitely, you know, very outfit specific. Like it would look really good with the outfit I'm wearing right now. Like that, not that necklace obviously. Cover up the necklace and just put this necklace on. This one would work, but I can't wear it with everything. Like I can wear that black one. I also got this necklace, which is definitely out of my comfort zone. So this is kind of like a um, like bohemian tribal, a uh, hippie looking necklace, I want to say. I saw it on a mannequin with an outfit and it just looked really good. So I wanted to buy it. I think this was one of the more expensive ones. I think this one was $14 and it's genuine stone, which is so fancy. Finally, necklace wise, I got this guy right here. Um, I can't remember how much it is. How much are you? This one was $9.99. This one is definitely a little bit different than the other ones as well. It's got a very like eccentric pattern but it's still kind of delicate looking. I think this one is very classy looking and it would be more um, of a dress up necklace. I think if you want to make an outfit look dressier, this would be a good necklace to wear with it rather than something like this where it's fun, but it's still pretty casual. And finally from Charming Charlie's, I bought this little guy right here. So this was five bucks and it was at the cash wrap. So what this is, is you open it up like 
that and you put this on a table like this and you hang your purse from it. So it's a purse hanger and um, everyone probably already has these and I'm just really late to the game. But I think it's so cool. Like I've seen them kind of before but I finally decided to get one because I don't want them to get dirty. So yeah, you just put it on the table and you hang your purse from it and how cool is that? Okay. And this was the cutest one. They had some other ones too, like leopard or something. I don't know that weren't as cute, but I liked that one a lot. All right, so that is it for my collective haul. But I hope you guys enjoyed. And let me know if you like watching hauls because I really like watching hauls. They're one of my favorites to see. I love seeing what people got. And then adding things to my list of things that I want to buy because that's how life works, isn't it? If you guys did enjoy this, give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Go check me out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I try to post every day. Sometimes it's not every day. Sometimes it's every other day. But I'll link those down in the description below. Uh, leave some comments. Let me know what you thought and what you'd like to see next. And um, if you want to watch your last video, click that box over there. And if you want to watch the, the video before that, click that box over there. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I love you guys and I will see you next time. Bye.